All right, welcome back to the show. It's time for the Everyday Dish. Yes. We love entertainment on the program, and you know, we actually have here on our show our very own band of merry men. Mm -hmm. You don't see them because they're behind the camera most of the time, but here now is our band of merry men. Look how thrilled and happy they are, our, our they band are of so merry men. Merry. Get yeah. merry, please. Oh, yeah. Look how <laughs> riveting they are. Oh, there's our third merry man. Yeah. Sheesh. So Robin Hood needs there. to class it up a little bit. Let's go to the real merry <laughs> men, all right? The guys that backed up Robin Hood. Yeah. It's Russell Crowe's brand new movie coming out Thursday. And of course, Natalie Tisdall flew out to Los Angeles to get the Colorado exclusive with the cast. And yes, she, chat, she chatted with the much better looking merry <laughs> men of the movie. And turns out these guys love Colorado. Colorado is a pretty special place. Do you go skiing? Oh, yeah. Where do you Where? ski? I ski in Beaver Creek. Oh, ah, yeah. Yeah. It's beautiful. beautiful. Oh, it's gorgeous. Yeah. No and you, please say yes. I had a whole lot of <laughs> Where'd you go? To go to Colorado. You like John Denver? <laughs> Hi, Colorado. I'll come visit sometime. God, you guys are all, uh, I'm cool. I was in Colorado, whatever. But I love Colorado. Uh -huh. Yeah. You're missing out. Yeah. 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 We got to get you there. Well, you, you like Coors Light, don't please come. You? Right? We like Coors Light. You like beer. Yeah, I like the Avalanche. You like Joe Sackett. See? There's yeah. so much. There's so much in Colorado. See, there you go. Yeah. You can yeah. ski, you can sing, you can drink beer. Wait. You are giving Colorado a horrible name, Natalie. <laughs> Yesterday, you said it, that the only thing about our state that they remember was Wayne's, Wayne's World. World, and today it's just beer. It's what they think of for Colorado. The only good thing that you did is you did get the fellows to sing a little bit of our Colorado theme song, and that yes. was nice. Rocky Mountain High, Colorado. Rocky Mountain High. <laughs> they I love how the guy in the right hey, they got some what? harmony going on. <laughs> they were great. Good guys, don't forget that Robin Hood opens uh, Thursday at midnight, and throughout this week, Natalie's got all the exclusive. The rest of the actors, including Ooh. Russell Crowe, and he's a good musician too. She way. talked to Russell Crowe. Was, Crow. nice. mm -hmm. was he, was, he nice? Uh, you'll have to wait. You'll have to wait and see. Mm -hmm. All right. Meantime, she was just in LA. Let's head out live to Los Angeles right now. Nina, TMZ.com. Good to see you, Nina. How are you? Hi, I'm good. Glad to hear it. I, uh, well, sad to report, maybe Charlie Sheen's not doing quite as well as you are. He's, he's out? Well, he's not necessarily off of Two and a Half Men, but we're told that they still haven't come to an agreement. They announced their fall schedule on May 19th, so they're trying to seal a deal by that time, and we're told it just hasn't been done. He stands to make about 60 to $100 million oh. by signing a new deal Jeez. with these people, and we're told that he's not really pressing the issue. He wants what he wants, and if he doesn't get it, we're told he's prepared to walk. I'm wondering if you could find two more uh, humiliating or bizarre photos of those guys to show on your website. <laughs> the pictures you have of those two guys are the creepiest I've ever oh, seen. Those pictures have character. All right. If that's the way they look, that's the way they look. <laughs> right, from Charlie Sheen to Charlie's Angels, one of the angels in financial ruin. Is this true? Yeah, Kay Jackson, she uh, is saying that she was told by her financial advisor that she was worth about $5.4 million. And we're told that she was convinced by this financial advisor to purchase a $2 million home. Now, it turns out she was only worth $3 million. And now she's claiming that this guy kind of conned her into purchasing this purchasing this home that she couldn't afford. So she's suing him and saying that, uh, you know, I didn't have the money to buy this house and he knew it. So she wants her money back. Well, if you still, if you're worth three million dollars, doesn't sound like financial ruin to me. Sounds you know, like just this is a the spin problems of rich people. Yeah, you know? I'd love to have that problem <laughs> just once. Exactly. Yeah. I would love to. I'd love to be the fourth Charlie's Angel too, but it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> or is You'll it? Be both. <laughs> You'll be both. All right, Nina. Good to see you as always. TMZ.com, my favorite website, and of course, we'll link your site to ours so folks can uh, check up on the gossip all day long. Thanks so much. Take it easy. Bye. Now it's a little known fact that Crystal loves Carmelo, don't you? <laughs> Yeah. You love that, the delicious candy with the marshmallows and the caramel, mm. the Carmelo. Yeah. Carmelo. I thought you meant Carmelo Anthony. That's what I really <laughs> meant. Yes, of course, we're talking the sports legend, Denver's own Carmelo getting hitched, and VH1 will be there to catch every angle. The Nuggets forward and his longtime fiance, Lala, mm -hmm. who's been on our show. Oh, yeah. They're going to do a whole docu-series about their July wedding. Hmm. The five-part series will premiere Monday, September 13th on VH1, and it'll wrap up with a 90-minute wedding finale in October. Do you guys wow. get invited to the wedding? 
How did no. we not get invited? We didn't get invited. No, but I did know. I got the little insight that that Lala was partying in Vegas with their girlfriends this weekend. Oh, a little bachelorette, yeah, little bachelorette. bachelorette uh -huh. action. Okay. Hey, you know who was partying here in Denver was Conan O'Brien. He left his mark on Colorado. His comedy tour was in Boulder two nights ago. That's where this video was taken. And then uh, last night, he played to a sold-out crowd over at the L.A. Culkin's Opera House. He's blogging about Denver this morning. He says that Denver was, quote, on the hook, which is way better than off the hook, yes, he says. Yes, thank you. Plus, he adds that the L.A. Culkin's was a, quote, interesting place. He posted this picture, and he says, doesn't it look like the Thunderdome from Mad Max? <laughs> it's his perspective on our fair city. Conan is already now in Texas, where he'll continue his tour. You guys know how I feel about Adam Lambert. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? <laughs> That's me and Adam Lambert. We're very close. Look you at know us. what? We, we should have so given close. you smoky eyes, too. You would have looked like, like, Adam Adam Lambert. Lambert. like Adam Lambert. smoky yeah. eyes. Uh -huh. There's Adam and I and 5,000 of our closest friends. Adam's just told me <laughs> that he's coming to Denver. Adam Lambert will hit the Paramount Theater on July 17th. On top of that, the American Idol Live Tour is coming to Denver. Wow. It, it'll hit Comfort Dental Amphitheater. Great. Or Fiddler's Green. <laughs> I love that name. Whatever that you nice? want to call it. Gosh, it just, just sounds like a great it. venue. Comfort <laughs> Dental Amphitheater. On August the 13th, so grab your tickets. I think of a root canal when you say that. There's a, you get a free root canal with Great. every ticket purchase. <laughs> hey, since you're such good friends with him, get him to come on the show. Oh, my God. Adam Lambert, call me. We want you on the show. Hey, tonight's other big night. You guys know this. Uh, this is just a coincidence, but it's true. I, I put this shirt on today, and I didn't realize it was going to come in handy. Look at the shirt I'm wearing. Oh, my goodness. Wow. I am a total gleek. I love my glee, and tonight is another episode. That kind of looks naughty, doesn't it? Yeah. You want, you want that Fox, glee? By the way. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, wait, hold on a second. There, there's no fox now. Glee. It's a great, great show. And it's all about show choir. And it turns out that someone on this program was showing before show choir was cool. Take a quick look. We have a picture now of uh, there's Natalie Tisdall's <laughs> swing choir from high school. Oh my goodness. Yeah, wait, that wait, was that, that was the you train on the left, theme. In the yes. on the left. We I did a whole you. series of train <laughs> songs. I'm a train, I'm a train, I'm a chicka 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 chicka. Have you ever oh, heard that Lord. song? Oh Lord, I can't <laughs> get past the, the crushed velvet must gowns. Must be a train. Come on. I think oh. you should sing at our dream wedding. Oh, I really do. Okay. Take if your you, flyer to Lauren and Arcee's wedding. Uh -huh. twist, to twist her arm. <laughs> You're a good singer. There's Thank your dish you. for this Tuesday. Boy, it's all about.